So today I'm going to be doing um, a book that I got the other day called Something Like Fate. And I just love this cover. Oh my goodness. The cover like basically sums up the book. Um, because this book is about a, um, it's about these two best friends, Erin and, um, Lonnie. I think it's Lonnie. I don't think it's Lainey. Um, but I just call her Lonnie. So, um, Erin starts dating this guy named Jason. And, um, immediately Lonnie, like, feels sparks with him. And she, she doesn't do anything about it because, you know, like, she's her like Jason is um her best friend's boyfriend um so they but it's obvious that they both have chemistry together and um they start doing things together just the two of them because Aaron says oh you guys need to hang out because you're my best friend and my boyfriend so you gotta get to know each other and you've got to tell me what he says so they start hanging out and like the sparks get really more they get more intense but um, Lonnie is really trying to be a good friend and not do anything to upset Aaron or cross the line or anything. But um, they even, um, Lonnie and Jason even confront their feelings towards each other um, at the end of the school year. And um, while Jason is still going out with Aaron. And, um, but then they, but... Lonnie basically says, well, you're my best friend's boyfriend, and I can't do that to Aaron. So, um, anyways, Aaron goes off to camp, and for, like, the whole summer, and so Lonnie and Jackson, Jason, sorry, Jason, um, it, they're left by themselves, and, um, while, um, Aaron is at camp, Jason writes a letter to her and breaks up with her. And so then when he tells Lonnie this, she, she kind of sees it as, okay, now we can be together because I broke up with Aaron, but Aaron says, but, um, Lonnie's like, well, no, we can't, like, you still, like, sh Aaron would still hate me. Um, but th a couple of things lead to another, and, um, they end up together, and so it's, it's, that's really exciting. What I really like about this book is that um, it tells the story from a perspective that you don't usually hear from. You hear from, like, the other woman or whatever instead of the girl who's being cheated on, which, like, it's pretty hard to do. Like, I give the author major props for that because she made Lonnie sound like a pretty good friend I actually ended up hating Erin the girl that was cheated on or not even cheated on because they were broken up like that's more just like breaking girl code not necessarily like cheating um and so I I really don't like Erin I think she's annoying um but that that's okay there's there's also the side story of um Lonnie and Aaron were in a car crash a couple of years ago, or, it's not really a car crash, it's like, you'll just have to read the book and see, but it's like an accident involving a car and water, and Aaron saved Lonnie's life, and so Lonnie feels like she can never do anything to upset Aaron, and she can never, like, really, she always just has to cater to Aaron's needs, and so, um, that's the side story, and there's also the side story of, um, Lonnie has another friend named Blake, and he is in the closet gay, and he can't tell his dad that he's gay, um, so that's, that's kind of like a side story. I think that that kind of ties in with the whole, like, just being honest with people about who you really are, and how you can't really choose you can't really choose who you love whether it's like a person of the same gender or if it's your best friend's boyfriend you know like so that's kind of what I took out from it and the reason why it's called something like fate is because um Lonnie is really into um like astronomy and like horoscopes and stuff and she strongly believes in fate and a lot of times during the book she'll say something like 
oh, well, this is, this is a sign, like, that Jason and I are meant to be together, or this is a sign that Aaron's mad at me, or whatever. So, <laughs> this, I'm sure, I don't know, if you guys walk around in Barnes & Noble, I'm sure that you've seen this book, because I just love the cover so much. It's so, it's, it's, it so explains the book. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend, um, and I will see you later.